In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to turn on voice directions in Apple Maps. So when you are using Apple Maps, by default, the voice direction should be on. And basically, this will tell you when to uh, turn, you know, which exit to take, all that kind of stuff. And if you are unable to hear this, uh, the voice is not working, then there's a few ways you can go ahead and fix this. So stick around and I'll teach you how to do it. So the first way I'd recommend checking this out is by going into your settings like I have here and you want to just scroll down and you're going to see the map section. It should be underneath translate. So go ahead and tap on that. And then while you're in here, what you want to do is scroll down and there's a section here called spoken direction. So you want to go ahead and click on that. Now in here, there's going to be a few different settings that you can go ahead and click on. You can see at the top you've got voice volume. So maybe you have it stuck on soft volume. This will mean that the voice will be very soft and you might not be able to hear it. So first of all, go ahead and put it onto loud volume or normal volume to make sure that you can actually hear it. You can also see you've got directions, pause, spoken audio. Um, this will basically mean that if you've got uh, some kind of audio on, then it's gonna go ahead and pause that. I recommend having all of these three settings at the bottom on green this will basically mean it will interrupt everything that you are listening to so radio um, all that kind of stuff if there's a direction so make sure you have these on so that the music of your radio or whatever doesn't continue playing and this will stop it so it can tell you the directions now the very last way is you can do it inside of your maps itself what you have to do is you have to go ahead and search the location you're going to and on the right side, there should be a little speaker icon. You want to go ahead and tap on that. And if it's on the, uh, but if it has like a little cross through it, then that's not going to be working. You may need to make sure it's on the speaker icon uh, to ensure that the voice is working. But that's basically how you do it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.